The song so bad that it was banned from the internet. What song could be bad enough to land itself on the list of the worst of all time? Was it made by Imagine Dragons? Was it made by Patrick? Was it made by Kevin MacLeod? Seriously, who made this thing? Now, first of all, stop. You may be asking yourself, just what song is it? I want to hear this for myself. We'll get to that real quick, but first, I just have to let you know that this video is sponsored by the button about two inches below the screen. The black button. Make it gray and you'll get 10 extra years added to your life. You're gonna need it. Alright. 009 sound system. Where do I even begin? There's 1,728,900 of you. Wait, it actually went up? One of you has got to be dead by now. And your entire generation isn't even as old as this. That's how far back that this goes. 009 sound system. It, it was just kind of like the nickelback of YouTube. Every single radio station, San Andreas infinite money hack glitch tutorial, even a PlayStation 2 ad. It was back in 009. This really just kind of came out of nowhere. And there was a particular song that I guess just became like the breadwinner of it all. Dreamscape by 009 Sound System. Now this song like rose from the depths, or no, it it ascend, it descended from above and made itself so universally hated, despised, loathed, rebuked by everyone that it's actually not even funny. When this song came out in 2010, wait, it was given one out of five stars on Music Critic. 1.5% liked on AllMusic.com. There was a petition to remove this whole song from everywhere on the internet in 2010, which got over 5,000 signatures. So, if we just give this little description a read. It's time to put an end to this. It's time to put an end to this. We all have enough of this music. YouTube needs to ban this song, so we have no longer need to endure it in Every single video. It's time. This is the awakening. 009 has to go. Wait, what is this? Like the militia or something? My gosh. But now, obviously, uh, it didn't just come to pass. On account of it continuing to destroy everyone's ears, apparently, around the world. For many years to come. But then, it did get banned. And apparently, you could choose at least one of the 009 sound system songs in like movie maker library but it was taken out due to what microsoft said as maintainment of contemporary elegance and user satisfaction damn imagine being roasted by someone who looks like this and if you're wondering yes they actually said maintainment maintainment that's a good thing that they're worried about their contemporary elegance Big words. So we're basically gonna give this a listen and just see what happens. <laughs> so, I don't know what's gonna happen. I have my emergency detergent bottle right here just in case. Oh, it's not 2016 anymore. Oh, that's cringe. Okay. All right, here it is. Dude, that's actually, I mean, I'm not Gustavo or something, but that's actually not that bad. Let's read the reviews. You know what? It's actually good. I've been deaf my whole life and this song slaps. It's in every how-to video on earth. Zero out of 10. So bad, my children will unevolve ears. Yes, I wanted to know how to uninstall a vast from my computer. Yes, the first thing that happens is this absolute blasting through my speakers, and did I even ask for it? No. I asked for a simple step-by-step -step walkthrough, not a teenage circle jerk robo new age hand me down assault on my ears. Okay, but why does this exist? It's just so repetitive, and once you hear it, it'll stay in your head, so all you hear is like a bee is stuck in your brain. Would rather listen to nails on chalkboard. Okay, so because of the smashing success of this masterpiece, 
they came out with a part two. They dropped another one called Trinity. And all right, maybe this is the one that really precedes its reputation. Maybe now I'm about to fully understand just the true hell that this one commenter described. Mr. Young African. So prepare yourself. I'm gonna need this. Wait, is this copyrighted? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. And there's no way I'm capping right now. I- okay. This song is literally the OST of one of my dreams. And I know you've heard it too in your dream. Don't you remember? I remember it. I remember your dream. So, honestly, not that bad. Alright, so now fast forward about 13 years. Let's compare the reviews of this song now to what they were before. This is the sound of a happy world with no problems. This song actually goes hard. This music is really good. I rate 5 stars. In 2019, we should put this song back in our videos again to celebrate 10 years of this masterpiece. And no one did that, by the way. Best song of all time. Brings a tear to my eye. This is a certified hood classic. How epicness sounds. Well, okay. What had happened? Here's the explanation. Out of my infinite smartness, how did this even become such a sensation? Back in 009, everything was the Wild West. You couldn't just grab any song that you wanted and download it straight onto your computer. If you wanted to edit a video, no, that's, that's illegal. So basically, 009 sound system released Dreamscape as free music. You were given the option to just basically have this music automatically inserted as basically just free stock music. Stock music? Audio jungle. Is that a thing? So that's why the song became so connected with these classic movie maker transitions and also unregistered hypercam too which is my personal favorite. So it basically became what is essentially like the room style level of bad, but in music form. It's actually unironically good. Are all these people like still alive even who wrote these comments? Wait, I guess that's off topic. <laughs> uh, maybe they all died. The song killed them. Well, no wonder they're mad. This whole genre was basically just single-handedly pioneered by this one man who made this first song, and honestly, he's a legend. Wait, is that John Green? Oh. I was like, wait, he made the song? Because, <laughs> like, honestly, the fact that it just felt like he actually, like, made everything. He, he wrote a book and made this song. Look, I don't even know. God dang it. And he's still making music. And it's good. Like, seriously, he's underrated. And it's sad. But Dreamscape basically fell off after Windows and all the other software kind of stopped offering it to everyone. Like literally every Club Penguin hack video went extinct overnight. It just kind of disappeared. But then it popped back into existence again. And now it's just a meme. Even the memes are so unfunny that they're unironically funny. But here's my personal favorite version. Well, that just restored all my faith in humanity. In conclusion, I guess it's just all about perspective. This one song just happened to be the OST of this period of time. And just like everything, if it becomes too popular, it just gets stale. Like 2015. I talked about this whole thing in the past too, about the whole 10 year pattern with things. It just seems like after 10 years, basically everything just becomes enjoyed and popular again. Like, even after it was hated. Like, seriously, just think about it. Minecraft came out in 2009, got hated basically all the way up until 2019, and now it couldn't be any more love. This song... Well, you get it. Everything all just comes back around. Even though everyone knows that Flat Earth is true. And that will basically wrap up today's video. I just wanted to basically showcase one song, be the most hated and the most loved at the same time. It was banned, and then it was exonerated, and now it's just a dream. Escape. And it's literally the end credits of the internet. So thanks for watching, and if you checked out the sponsorship yet, look, it's, it's a limited time offer. That's all from me today. Go show this song some love, because it deserves it. I'll see you, and you'll see me in the next time. 
Till then, goodbye. <laughs>